Right, new video to start the new year. I'm sorry we've not produced anything previously. We've had the Christmas break and everybody has been super busy. So Mikey's been busy working on designs for the T7. We've ordered our T7s today and he's also been working on designs for the Transit Custom. Mitch has been busy working on the Dream Build T5. So we've got updates on that coming soon in the next few days, hopefully to give you some more information about what's been going on there. So I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on this. So this is the Tesla Transporter. The team in the sales office will get asked daily with, without fail, what's going on with the Tesla Transporter? Transporter build and they nag me so much to give an update on this or finish it so they can tell people some good news. If you could please hurry the f up it would be greatly appreciated. Well it's been abandoned quite simply put so we'll show you around you can have a look around it and see what's been done to it so we put so much effort into this I think we started this journey three years ago so it all came from this crazy idea me and Mikey had when we drank too much rum one night and I regret ever doing that. We spent a lot of time and a lot of money working on this and we had great ideas of creating this absolute weapon that we could take shows drive around use as a daily vehicle but that kind of all came to an end when we realized we could never legally register on the road and at that point I kind of fell out of love with it. That on top of a million other projects always come up. We evolve and change so much here. Constantly developing new products here, whether it be for the T5, T5.1, T6, T6.1, and now the T7. This had just kept getting put out the back here so we could concentrate on those things, the things that you wanted that you could buy now and not necessarily on the toys that we were planning on building. So going back, when we originally started this, the plan was always to get it on the road. So much so, we even bought a number plate to go on it. You may see all the video we talked about this. So we bought ET6.1 van, ET6.1 van to go on this. We sent it to various places. We had the roll cage done. We had all the batteries and the motors put in it the two large Tesla Model S motors went off and had loads more work done to it to have it all connected and kind of kind of working but not working completely and then we got it back here for us to carry on the next phase of it and then we kind of found out we'd never go on the road and then we kind of just not necessarily lost the interest but had a million other things to do and then it got hidden at the back of the building here out the way of anybody so I didn't have to look at it every day we used prototypes some other bits like the GTD bumpers and various other things and it kind of just forgot forgotten and ignored and regret that we ever started the journey but always the plan that one day we would get back on it and finish it again the problem is there's always 10 other projects lined up so now as soon as the dream build finished we've got various other things that need to go on the ramp we have our two our t7 first t7 arriving in three weeks i think so we'll be straight on that and it got me thinking we're never ever going to find the time to finish this about three months ago a guy off instagram reached out to us a gentleman called james now james started the journey on a tesla transporter at the same time as we did the difference is james has finished his and also he started with a preface t5 whereas we foolishly started with brand spanking new T6.1. So James's setup's quite a bit different to ours. So where we went for twin motor, four wheel drive, James went for a single motor from a Tesla Model 3 and he also used Tesla Model 3 batteries in his. But like I said, James is up and running and uh, out there and being used on the road now. So James reached out to us to see if he could get involved or help us out with finishing this. So it seemed like the perfect opportunity to pick the phone up and say, yes, James, please can you help us? So that's where we're at with it now and James is going to get involved he's going to help us finish this one so I just wanted to give you a bit of an update a bit of you of a, of a show round of what state it's in and how bad it is I mean there's mice traps in here because we have them an issue at the back here for a while the roll cage has started to go rusty it really is in a sad state but time to revitalize it time to get this thing finished let's get it running let's get it to some tracks let's try and break some records with it maybe but let's actually get it working painted lowered wheels on and running and trying to have some fun with this thing like we should have always done three years ago when we started the project so just a quick short video just to explain where we're at with this really if i'm honest i'm embarrassed but we we got to this stage that we gave up on it when we did but new year new challenge let's get back on this let's work with somebody that's already built one of these to get it finished and we'll show you the journey along the way but i promise you i promise you we will get this thing finished this year hopefully before the summer we'll get this thing running we're never gonna be able to get on the road we don't think i'm not totally given up on that but i don't think we can get on the road but we're gonna get off to some tracks do some quarter miles with it have some fun with it do some drifting with it i don't know if you remember in the early days we spoke about the fact it's got large tesla model s motor at the rear and another model s motor at the front which can turn off the front so we'll have a full rear wheel drive drift machine so we're going to go out have some fun with it we stick with this bear with us i'm sorry it's taken so long but we will get this thing finished and we'll try and keep you up to date on the whole journey hope you've enjoyed this really short video please do hit that like button to show us you're still interested in what's going on with this van please do share this video with anybody that was interested before and thought we'd just abandoned it because we did abandon it but it's time for it to come back and as always thanks for watching Thank you.